Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So in one of our past videos, you saw how we brought Lightning home to Free Spirit Equestrian and we are gonna be leasing him. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. He's a super cool horse. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you some Lightning updates, basically just showing you how he's been settling in here at the farm, how it went with him meeting the herd and you know, just spending time with him. So you're gonna get to check that out today. And then in our next video with Lightning, I will show you our first ride at home. So I actually haven't ridden him yet. I am just giving him time to settle in and adjust, but I have been working with him. I know he's gonna be just fine when I ride him most likely, but I just wanna give him time to figure it out because he's been on Tom's farm for a long time and I don't think he's left that farm frequently. So I just wanna give him a chance to figure out his new surroundings. So let's go ahead and look back at how Lightning's been doing. What are you doing, Schnecky? Huh? Hi, Penelope. You finding some yummies? She's so cute. Good girl. Yes, Jiminy, I'm getting to you. I promise. Okay, so we're doing a little move around today. Lightning's out here with Zazu and then Prince Naveen. They've been in the paddock together. So Lightning, Naveen, and Zazu are now in with the mares. So everybody is familiar with each other other than Naveen and Lightning, but they've met through the fence. There's just gonna be some antics because it's early morning, everybody's frisky, they have pent up energy, so they'll work everything out. But I don't think it's gonna be anything way super dramatic. This will be really good for Lightning and Naveen to be out with the mares and just be with a little larger herd. Plus they'll be able to meet the other horses over the fence now, like Lumi, Mushu, and the rest of the other geldings. girls think hmm? so far it's going really well they're already grazing and they're just gonna have to go up and meet one another and just figure out the herd dynamics and the hierarchy meanwhile Lumiere is just staring hi hi ma'am Right now, Lightning is just exploring his new pasture. So he's walking out there. That's a great sign, just checking everything out. And then he has his buddies and now his new ladies. So <laughs> they're gonna look so pretty together, all of them. What do you think you have Phoebe out? I know. Your babies are fine. They're not your babies. You just watching them. Those geldings are nice. Oh beauty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
figure was like, oh, I'm done with this. Okay, so we got lightning here. He is settling in great. So this is actually our second day in here. We didn't end up filming the first day just cause I don't know, we were just busy and there was a lot going on, but he's way calmer today. He was just kind of looking around previously, which is completely normal, but yeah. Now we're just uh, gonna do a little groom. I'm just gonna walk him around. Just letting him settle in. He's been a good boy. And as you saw, he was out with the mares and everybody. So he's gonna go in with the rest of the geldings today. So he will be meeting Lumiere. And that'll be his kind of final transition in terms of getting settled with the herd. Then there won't be any more changes, okay? Look at you. Very good boy today. Yeah. You are sweet. Then we'll start riding. Good job, Lightning. You're a good boy. You are. You are. <laughs> so I just groomed him. I brushed his mane and tail. And all we're gonna do today is just walk around the outdoor arena. So we're just gonna hang out, get to know each other a little more. Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness, you love it. I just want him to know that this is, you know, a good place. And that he is loved. And you're gonna have stuff to do, but you're gonna be so loved and cared for. Oh, what do you see? You see your buddy Naveen? Yeah, he's back with the Geldings, isn't he? You just gotta get through Big Bad Lumiere and then you'll be golden. You'll be Gucci. Oh, this your boy loves it. The lightning itchies. You love the itchy. <laughs> big chunker. He's just a big chunk boy. He's thick. I mean, look at this chunk. He's not a tall horse, but he's very stout. Very stout boy. Just hand walking. Lots to see, huh? What'd you think, Lightning? Is this gonna be okay for you? Is it? He's super good today. He said, I'm always good, excuse me. <laughs> Look at all these butterflies. Let's get you a clover. <laughs> Good job. Some grass. <laughs> Is that yummy? <laughs> You're a good boy. You're so pretty. Little cow pony. <laughs> He's like, how dare you call me a cow? Okay, now Lightning is in the other horses. Lumi hasn't even noticed yet. <coughs> the drama. So that's Gaston and Arlo and then obviously Lightning. This is a good part of, this is a good time of day to introduce them because it's kind of hot. See, no one cares. Mushu didn't even come over. He could give two craps. Naveen already knows him. Gaston's not gonna waste energy. He might go look at him and stuff, but... <laughs> you checking out the new shed? It's for you too, buddy. Lumi hasn't noticed anything, of course. I'll have to grab Zazu and put him back in here. And Lightning is just more chill, you know? So he's not gonna 
cause a ruckus with the other horses. Like Lumiere is the only one that would probably be dramatic and probably Jiminy if he was here. Obviously Jiminy's recovering. Lumiere, like, didn't even look. He's, like, not paying attention at all. Uh-oh. He's just walking around. Huh. He's like, oh, cool. I'll go eat by Naveen. There's Moosh. Oh, boy. Let's see. Naveen's like, I've been there, buddy, not long ago. Moosh is usually chill, but he can be a little stink sometimes, but he's pretty good. At lightning he's like oh you're little and chunk like me lightning's way bigger than mushu but i can't believe Lumi's just in la la land out there Honestly, the herd integration has went way smoother than I thought it would, so that's good. I mean, Mushu's more so just like curious and excited about a new horse. He's just basically going to be like an annoying little brother. He's so funny. But yeah, this is super great. So that was unexpected that it would go that chill. And actually, the mares were really good too. That was great. Uh -oh. We're just going to see how it goes with Lumiere. He's heading to Loom. Lumi is literally just like, oh boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Naveen's like, I gotta watch this drama. I gotta watch it. Oh my gosh, Lumi. You know what? He might just be getting used to the fact that this is just part of it. There's gonna be other horses that come here. He'll come over, but... At least he's not, you know, being ridiculous. Also, the fact that Lightning's been over the fence a bunch obviously the fence is electric but they can meet over the gates so i think that's a huge part of it but if the pastures are closed like in the off season we don't have that opportunity as much like they can still meet over the fence for a little bit but not like 24 7. just not set up for that mushu you're just annoying i'm gonna kick you i would that's annoying you're just right up his butt Lightning is so cute. He's such a little beefy boy. You'll like Mushu, he's fun. Mushu. <laughs> he is annoying. Oh gosh, is Lightning gonna go up to Lumi? Oh my God, Lightning. <laughs> They're so funny. Ariel's like, what are they doing? You're a hot mess, girlfriend. I'm gonna groom you later. What do you think? Mushu, quit following him around and being annoying. You're being annoying. Don't. You're like that pesky younger brother, seriously. Look at Mushu's butt. What do you think, Naveen? You're not the new boy anymore. That didn't last long. That's Ariel likes, <laughs> likes Naveen. <laughs> she was hanging out with Lightning a lot too. You guys are so cute. What is happening over here? <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. You be nice, sir. That was super rude and not necessary. Poor Lightning. He's like, that guy was so mean to me. He's like, I'm going to tell all these other guys. 
Yeah, that's just part of the stallion characteristics. I mean, he is really good with the geldings. It's just the initial meeting, he's gonna show that dominance. I've seen worse. I mean, I've seen geldings pin other geldings in a corner and just not stop kicking. I mean, Lumiere's just trying to establish and then he just leaves it alone. But still, I mean, that's just part of it. It's equine behavior. Mushu, every time I'm feeling something, you gotta come right up here, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're good though. Sorry, Lightning, I told you, I warned you about him. So in those last clips, you saw how Lumi was basically being just a big butt towards Lightning. And obviously I understand like herd hierarchy and establishing that and you know, the dominance factor. I mean, horses do stuff like that. Like that's all normal. The issue is Lumiere would not let up on Lightning if he came anywhere in the paddock. I feel like Lumiere was essentially resource guarding the hay, the water, and then the mares because I put them up in the far paddock later that day. So of course I monitored the whole situation and sometimes you just have to let things work out. But anytime Lightning would come up, he would just do the exact same thing. And I'm like, okay, this really isn't okay. And Lightning was basically scared to come into the paddock. Now it's normal for the new horse to kind of be pushed off the hay and the herd for a little while. Sometimes it even takes a few weeks, but I just have not seen Lumiere react in that specific way uh, constantly. And it's just interesting because Lightning was so chill. He didn't try to you know, established dominance. He didn't do anything and Lumiere was just responding in that way. And I didn't think it was gonna be a big deal because Prince Naveen, that went so smoothly with Lumiere. So I have no idea. Honestly, it really stresses me out because throughout my entire years of being here at the farm, of course I've had horses that are more challenging in terms of herd and everything, but I've never had horses that, you know, couldn't be with mares or really caused a problem when it came to the overall dynamic. And some moments Lumiere is completely fine and other times he's he's just not. And it's just been a really hard learning experience for me. And it's just, I'm not trying to do like a sob story here, but I'm just trying to explain the fact that they lied to me that he did stallion stuff and that he literally acts like a stud when they said, you know, he didn't. It's just really unfortunate. And I'm not saying this to be negative and he's amazing, but I never ever would have bought him if I knew he had done anything stallion related. And I know they might not ever do anything stallion related and can still be this way when they're gelded later, but I've had a lot of horses like that. I mean, not a lot. I've had a few horses that were gelded late and they never reacted this way. I mean, he straight up thinks he's a stallion, like guarding the food, watching the herd, guarding the mares, like to an extreme. And he was aggressive. I mean, I've never seen him be super aggressive. That was pretty aggressive, running full speed, mounting and biting the back, like, and lightning's okay. Like, don't worry about any of that. He's totally fine. He didn't get hurt or anything like that, of course, but it's just, it just sucks. So you know what's gonna happen? And this isn't like a punishment, obviously, or to be mean, but Lumiere is not the only horse here, okay? All of the other herd is very important. So what I'm gonna end up doing is where the mares go in that one paddock sometimes, He's gonna be going in there. I'm gonna get a, another bale barn. I already ordered a new one because the mains keep getting rubbed out with the older ones. And, you know, I can only do so much at a time. But anyways, we're getting all the bale barns replaced. So he will go in that paddock and he'll have a buddy or two and he'll still be turned out like in the pasture. But that way, the entire rest of the herd, minus the horses I rotate out with Lumiere that he gets along with, will be together, including all the mares and geldings. And I'll just put a friend in for Lumiere, um, you know, one or two other geldings until we close the paddocks for winter and then everyone's separated anyways. But this is just the challenges that come with purchasing horses and, you know, having a herd and when you have a larger herd and when you don't have a ton of space like me. I mean, there's just been so much that has evolved and changed over the last, um, honestly, the last year, like with Belle and then Ezzy and Ariel. And I'm so grateful for all of it. This is not, you know, I'm not trying to be that way. I'm just explaining like this whole Lumiere thing. It has stressed me out so much to the point. It's like taking away my joy from him, which I'm just being completely, completely straightforward. And I really don't want to sell him. Like my intention was to get him and he would be my dream horse. I mean, he is my dream horse and he's made a lot of progress like under saddle in our relationship. But what's hard is I don't just have endless space where this is just a super easy solution. And, you know, 
there's a completely separate pasture and paddock where he can just, you know, be in his own little herd. I don't have that right now. I have to jump through hoops to make that happen. And again, this property, I, I mean, I don't want to rush it. I love where I'm at. Like, I'm going to be so sad when I leave Free Spirit Farm. I mean, it'll always be Free Spirit Farm wherever we go, but you get what I'm saying. Like, this is my first home, my first farm, everything, and it's sentimental to me, but we just don't have enough land when these situations come up. Like, right now, we're good. Like, I'm so grateful for my arena and my barn. Like, I don't need bigger barns or this or that or blah, blah, blah. I just need more land. And it's just, it's been, it's proven to be a huge challenge. I, I just feel more limited and... um yeah, just like with Bell too, it's just, it sucks. All of my problems would be solved if I had more land. Don't need bigger facilities, I need more land. But again, if we end up moving, and I end up, if I have to end up building a barn, then obviously I'm gonna build like a nice barn because it's gonna be my forever place. And we kind of knew this wouldn't be our forever facility. And we've been here, I think it's been six or seven years now. So, you know, it has served us so well, but at the same time, I don't know when the right property is going to come up. I mean, it could be tomorrow or it could be in two years. So I have to just think of what is happening right now. And it's challenging. It's really hard. I don't know. We're figuring it out. I have some plan for winter, but yeah, the Lumiere thing and then Bell, it's just, it's really hard. I've never had these issues before and I'm learning more. Obviously you're always learning as an equestrian. You never know everything. And I like him in the sense of he like has challenged me from a horsemanship standpoint, like that I like, but when it disrupts my peace and my herd, I mean, it, I've just, I literally just had like a cry fest the other day because I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do until we find property and I don't know when that's going to happen. So that's just my rant. I want to keep it real with you guys. But in other news, I'm super excited Lightning is here and that you're seeing this update. Like there's so many positives, right? I feel like with farm life, there's like a million highs and then there's the lows and sometimes they collide at the same time. Sorry, my hands are disgusting and dirty, but that's just the way it is. But with that being said, I put Lightning out with the mares for now until we figure out the whole paddock situation with Lumiere. And look, he's made a new buddy. Look at his new little friend. Of course, it's Ariel. They were just grooming each other earlier and they are just so cute. Of course, Ariel always crushes on the new guys. Like I swear every time. So he's just out here with them for now. Like I said, the whole herd is gonna be together minus Lumiere and like two other horses. Like I said, I'll rotate those geldings out with him. I can then rotate the pastures and the grass will grow more because that was my other dilemma. Every year I've been able to rotate pastures because everybody's been able to be together. So my grass has been great. We already needed to reseed anyway. It's been a few years, you know, but the pastures are so grazed down. So, I mean, there's still a lot of grass, but you get what I'm saying. Like the horses, once they start grazing, they like that short grass since it has more sugar. So we're going to have to reseed, but that was just like another thing. It's just been really crazy. It's been an amazing year, but it's also just been really crazy. So he'll chill with them and then we'll figure all that out. But he's doing great other than that whole Lumi situation, which it is what it is. I just don't trust it. Like I'm not going to just leave him in there with him and Lumi or act like that. Like it's just not okay. Um, when I'm monitoring it, that was fine, but I just didn't feel comfortable. And I'm a person that's like horses kick, horses bite each other. I don't get nervous about that, but what I saw, it just didn't seem right. And I'm, I'm just not going to do it. So he will be, he will be put somewhere else because I'm sorry, no one else causes problems. Lumiere is, so he needs to be removed and um, put with some buddies that'll keep him happy, keep him company. And then he won't feel stressed. Like once he settles in, he'll feel like, okay, like I don't have to resource guard. I don't have to do anything. So it goes both ways. Also, Jiminy is doing great. You want an apple treat? Your favorite? So I'm gonna be doing like a herd update video sometime in the next week or two to give you more details. <laughs> I know, since you guys been asking about Belle and Jiminy and everybody, but just wanted to show you, I know, honey, he's doing great. So, I mean, all things considered. Okay. Okay, so we got lightning up at the hitching post. He's doing better, especially with like Lumiere and everything in terms of them not being out together, but just sharing a fence line. So we're just gonna groom him and do a little bit of groundwork today. So you can tell he's a little bit nervous, but he'll settle in really quick. 
He's just trying to figure it all out. This is a whole new place, but he's been awesome. Yeah, you're doing good. So we're just going to do some groundwork today. Lightning is a little bit rusty when it comes to lunging, but he's been doing pretty well, all things considered. So we're just doing a little bit of his gait. Now we are working on his gait. So right there, there was a little bit of an improvement and that's just going to take time and just getting him to understand lunging and give him a little bit of a refresher. But he's really fun to work with. He likes to connect with his person. So it's really fun to actually spend time with him and work with him a little bit. I'm excited. So as you can see, everything was going pretty well for the most part, minus the Lumiere thing, but we're getting it figured out. And today I'm just gonna show you how he's doing in the paddock with the mares. It's kind of rainy. So last night I brought them up from the pasture and put them in their paddock. So let's go say hi. Look at here once again. He's too old for you, honey. I hate to tell you that. She's like, excuse me? Oh, hi. Hi, ladies. Beauty is really sassy towards him. Very sassy. Lightning, just don't put up with her. You're a good boy. You got hay on your head, Bagheera. Hi, Ezzy. Hi. So yeah, he's just chilling with the ladies, basically. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm for sure going to move Lumiere over here. Like I said, we ordered a new bail barn, so I'm kind of waiting. Maybe I'll just wait until that arrives so we don't have to move you know, the other one too, cause they're kind of a pain to move. So be nice, beauty. Don't let her treat you like that. They're fine together. She just thinks she's something. Quit it. Ma'am, be nice. Be nice to lightning. He's like, what the heck? What's up with everyone here? <laughs> so yeah, we'll just see how it goes, but everything's going good. I think he's, I think he'll settle in just fine. And once all of the you know, herd hierarchy antics are straightened out. Be good to go. Okay, I actually am going to feed, so give me a second here. Oh, Bagheera, now she's being sassy. Beauty, be nice. Hi, my precious baby. Hi, my precious baby. And we'll be doing a yearling training video sometime soon here. Oh, my goodness. You're so cute. You've been such a good girl. Yes. What do you think, Lightning? Bagheera. Get that out of your head. What's going on with that? Come here. Your accessories. Beauty. Yeah, good. Somebody needs to tell you to be nice. That stuff on your eye. You be nice. I know you think these are your babies. They aren't. Oh, yeah. See, she's just sassy. She just sassy. Oh, you're a big baby. Look at you. They're getting big. All right, I'm going to measure them soon. I have to. I got to figure this out. Got to figure this out. How tall are you? Hmm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Too early for you? Hi, beauty. All right, so I got lightning out. We're going to do a little bit of grooming and just walk around. What do you see? He is just so cute. I can't handle it. <laughs> So pretty and sweet. We're just chilling. I just want you to be happy. Yeah. And then once you're happy, you're gonna be busy. You're gonna be busy, Lightning. You got itch? All right, let's groom. Lightning was so chill in the ring today. So next time I work with him, I'm going to be riding him. Obviously I'll be posting a vid, but I'm just so excited to get him acclimated and get him into the program. See how he does, see what he's like. I mean, we know what you're like a little bit, but you know what I mean. Okay, we got Lightning a new little fly sheet. It's UV protective too. It's a cute color on you. Yes, it is. So he's looking adorable. 
I actually love this on you, buddy. Okay, put you back out. You've been a good boy. I know, it's hard being at a new place. What do you think, Lightning? Oh, Abby, hi. Oh, she's like right here. She's like, who cares about him? I'm standing right here. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? This one have just plastic I gotta throw away. Clacking at him. Lightning's so chill. He's good with them. Izzy, leave Ariel alone. Also, horse lovers, if you want to support Free Spirit Equestrian, you can order something off the Spirited Horse Boutique. Link in the comments in the description. Today, I am wearing my Bay Girl lipstick and also my Barn Bum hat. So you can check these items out plus more. And make sure you like, comment, share, or subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian or any updates. And I'll see you next time, horse lovers. Bye!